Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today. Well, I'm sure you know what we're doing. Today, we're going to be building a brand new character. And that character is right in front of you. It's Robin. Yesterday, we were able to successfully get Robin on her banner. Only after we lost the most detrimental 50-50 of all time to Bailu. But luckily, we were able to recover, get Robin, and go on. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building this character to the best of our ability. Over the last couple weeks, I've been preparing mats for her. We got EXP book, we got boss mats, we got credits, we got everything to build the perfect Robin here today. But before we do any of that, do make sure to subscribe to the channel. Only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed, and it really does help me out a lot. So make sure to subscribe, and let's go build ourselves the best Robin you've ever seen. Now, quickly, before we get to building Robin, let's talk quickly about her kit. And the first part is her technique. As you can see, the enemy just can't see us. This is because of Robin's unique technique. She creates a special dimension where every enemy in it will just not attack Robin. And we can just stand there beside them and say, hello, and they just won't even do anything to us. This will be really fun for photos when you want to take photos next to your favorite NPCs in Honkai Star Rail. But additionally, it also regenerates five energy uh, at the start of each wave when we get into battle. Here we go. Robin, let's talk about what makes her so great. So let's just establish the boring parts of her kit her basic attack is a basic attack it does nothing cool the next part of her kit her skill is a little bit more interesting but it essentially is just a damage buff for all our allies which is nice as you can see there we're going to get a buff called aria it's going to give us a 43 percent damage boost this damage boost lasts for three turns you can see the amount of turns left by looking at robin's icon on the screen there and it will tell you how many turns you have left of the ability. Additionally, this skill also regenerates extra energy when you use it, which is really nice for Robin specifically, because she needs a lot of energy for the best part of her kit, her ultimate ability, which is the whole reason she's so great. She gets a really unique animation, but not only that, she also starts singing, which I think is cool. But anyways, what does her ultimate do for us other than those amazing vocals? Well, it increases all our allies attack. We can see here that Xu Shang gets an additional 1.1k attack, which is a lot. But not only that, whenever any of our allies attack, for example, a Herda, we're going to deal additional physical damage with our attack. As you saw there, we not only did a cryo hit with Herda, we also did a physical hit. That is because of Robin's ultimate. This hit has a fixed crit rate of 100% and a fixed crit damage of 150%. Also, something that's pretty unique about this state specifically is that if you look at the turn order, Robin isn't there at all. In fact, Robin will not even act until this state ends. So when this field is up, Robin will then get back her turn. But until then, Robin's not getting an action, which seems like a bad thing, but it's really not all that bad because the only thing you really need Robin for is her skill and her ultimate. And luckily her skill lasts for three turns. So we're not gonna have to worry about reapplying it for a while. Something else to know about this state is that all of our allies follow-up attacks are actually gonna be increased by 25%, which makes her really good with follow-up attack characters. Like for example, Herda, who does a lot of follow-up attacks and now has her damage increase thanks to Robin. The last thing to know about Robin is her talent. It's pretty simple. Basically, all of our allies just receive crit damage buffs. As you can see, we gained the buff Tonal Resistance, which gives us a 16.2% crit damage buff. And also this ability additionally regenerates energy for Robin whenever any of our allies attack. So for example, Natasha doesn't attack. That regenerates energy for Robin. It's a very minimal amount, but it's still an amount nonetheless. Robin has a lot of ways to regenerate energy, which is one reason why she's such a great character. She buffs, she regenerates, she does damage. She's everything you would want from a character in this game, and it is why she's one of the best characters that has come out thus far. And that, my friends, is Robin. Let me know what you think about her down in the comments below. But anyways, let's get into building her ourselves. So the very first thing we're going to have to do here is start leveling her up and take her as far as we potentially can. 40, 50. Oh, how am I already out of craft these? Craft these. We're good. Ascend again. Level 60, 70. And we're missing materials. We need 10 more IPC workers permit. And we have temporary early access to do that. As much as I would love to use Robin here, I don't think she'll be as good of a support as Sparkle is because I still personally think that Sparkle is the best Harmony character in the game, in my personal opinion. I mean, bro, 
seven skill points plus we can recover four at any time we want not to mention crit damage boost upward to a hundred percent i mean it's pretty crazy stuff but perhaps after we've beaten all these battles leveled up our robin i'm hoping she can change my mind let's do one more of these Okay, and we won. Good stuff. And that should be everything we need for Robin. Ascend. How far can we get you? Tell me level 80. Oh, that hurts. Level 76. I want that base attack as high as possible. Do we have any embers? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just buy this out straight up. Every single last one. Please. No. 79. That's pain. Battle pass, maybe? Claim this. Claim this. 12 more that ain't gonna be enough but if we upgrade well maybe now the whales get what the whales want all right robin there you go you now have level 80 humongous and of course we're gonna get our three three star whale passes which we can of course use to get a guaranteed five star because if you guys don't know every single time you level up your robin you're actually guaranteed to get a five star from the standard banner it happens every time classic case except for this time classic case happens every time always on that second poll it doesn't happen but then that third time around always happens it's just like no matter <sighs> but then with that random fourth roll where you don't know where you got it from but you have it anyways that will always be nothing well anyways back to robin next thing we have to do for her is we have to decide on a light cone some relics and upgrade some traces so for robin's light cones there's only about maybe three or four here that i'd suggest firstly flowing night flow obviously her best in slot need i say anything else but the battle isn't over is another decent light cone gives her a bit of energy regeneration and an extra skill point this is always an amazing light cone those are the two whale options you can consider as for the other options dance 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 is completely useless on her literally this light cone does nothing because her ultimate already advances everything forward so there's no point in this all the three stars have way too low base attack to even be considered as good i consider the best four star for her to be this for tomorrow journeys light cone as far as i know this is the only one that gives an attack percent buff there's also Ting Yun's Light Cone, which gives a 10% increase, but it's randomly applied, and it can either be attack, crit damage, or energy regeneration, and it applies to all allies, so this one isn't the greatest thing ever. So I strongly recommend that if you are free to play or low spender, you go for this Light Cone. It's going to be the one we're going for today. You're actually able to get it from the new event, Clocky's Dream Joy Memoir, and you can get one of these bad boys for free from this event. However, I'm not going to do this today because you have to complete the entire story quest. So we're going to have to find another way to get that light cone. So let's think of something. How can I get that light cone? Wait, what the hell's this? Oh, crap. I started the event. Oh, God. Oh, it's Boot Hill. Hi, Boot Hill. You're not who I care about today. Why? No, don't tell me there's more. No, come <laughs> Bro, how many cutscenes am I getting stuck into? Why, Robin? Well, I'm Robin now. I don't think I'm my Robin anymore. I'm the story Robin. I'm out of here. Let me go. I did it. I'm free from the story. Oh my goodness. Story block aside, let's get back to what we are doing. So is the light cone we want in the shop? It doesn't seem like it. Can I buy it in the store? No, you can never buy light cones from the store. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Can I wish for it? Uh, no. Okay, I don't know how to get it. Well, doesn't seem we can get it. That's unlucky, but I do have an alternative. Luckily, I have two Bronya light cones on my account. So I have an extra level 81, which I can take from Ting Yoon, put on to my Robin. And now she's going to have a little nice five-star light cone. And now that we have a light cone for my Robin and she's leveled up, let's level up her traces because this is going to take me a hot minute okay i'm finished our traces for the most part we were able to get nine nine eight two and we missed a hp percent boost but i'm honestly not tripping that hard over it i might want to get the final level nine though so i am just going to grind a couple more of these unless whale moment oh i can have a whale moment no grinding required there's robin 
there's her traces and there is a level nine talent and now for the final part of today's video the relics the most dreadful part of any building video let's talk about robin's relics so robin really only has a couple relic options because the only stats you really care about her are attack percent the two-piece prisoner set plus the two-piece musketeer is honestly your best choice of action you even have the option of mixing in something like a two-piece speed if you want to if you're trying to be a little more bulky because she is a support character you can go something like two piece guard of weathering snow but honestly it doesn't really matter just mix a bunch of two pieces depending on the stats you need prioritizing the prisoner in deep confinement and the musketeer of wild wheat the only four piece i'd really recommend for her is messenger of traveler hacking space because it does increase the speed of all your allies so this can be relatively useful but other than that there's not too many four pieces i would personally recommend for her as for your planner ornaments you definitely want to prioritize planner ornaments that have a energy regeneration effect because robin has a lot of ways to regenerate energy one of those being sprightly von walk which i really like because you get five percent energy regeneration and then also your action is advanced forward as soon as you enter battle making her usually the first character to go on the team the other one is Pentaconi land of dreams which again five percent energy regeneration and then if you have someone like an argenti or a clara on your team they can do a little more damage other than that there's not too many sets i would recommend if you just want overall more damage then something like a Vermont frontline glamoth can be good because you do get some attack percent from this or something like a space healing station for example can also give you more attack percent but overall, I definitely recommend going for those energy regeneration sets. Now, as for our stats, what stats do we care about? Well, I'll tell you what. It starts with A and ends with attack. Attack. That's all we care about. Literally, no other stats matter on her. Now, let's just roll attack on every single piece. Let's go. One attack. Ooh, new animation? That, that line's a little brighter. Attack again. Dang. Well, actually, that is attack. I can't complain about that perfect oh my goodness wait this is actually the perfect piece boom three attack percent we take that huge hey let's just let's just run it back again <laughs> i'm getting so lucky today what's happening i never get this lucky what is my luck today two attack one speed i can't complain okay now we're gonna worry about main stats for our chest our boots our orb and our rope for three of them you want attack percent you can maybe go physical damage on the orb or maybe go speed on the boot. But for the most part, you're just gonna want attack percent on all three of these pieces, and then an energy regeneration rope. So we're sorted by attack percentage again. And for this, I mean, I guess I want speed, and that's about it. Give me speed. Cool. I'm just getting everything I want today. Pretty good. Two speed, we'll take it. Or we want physical or attack percent. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like I have any in the set I need so I'm gonna have to make one for her. So we're gonna synthesize and we're gonna get lucky because I always get lucky. Pentaconi Land of Dreams, here we go. Synthesize, give me a banger, boom. Uh, it'll do, it'll do. We'll take anything, sure. Don't really care. And boom, our Robin build is done. Or is it? Dun, 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 dun. Yes, we have a light cone. Yes, we have traces. Yes, we have relics. But you know what we don't have? Eidolons and her E1. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not like all game changing, but it's pretty good. Her E2 is even better though. Increase in speed for all allies. I could use that. Let's just get two Robins quickly. Watch this. Watch this. Two Robins for the price of one. Oh my goodness. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. Wait, what's happening? Oh my goodness. Huh? 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 Oh, 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 oh my God. That's insane. I just got a back-to-back -back Robin. Anna Hanya, sure. Could you imagine I actually get E2 in this 10 pull? Come on, E2. I said it, make it happen, please. Oh my gosh. To truly conceptualize how lucky that was, you'll have to watch my last video. I'll link it in the description below. But bro, I think I gotta try for E2 now. I mean, I said I was gonna get it. Let's just do it straight up. Let's just do it. Let's just make it. Damn. No E2, Robin. But hey, I'm not complaining. Let's take a look at our final Robin stats. We have 4K HP, 4.2K attack, 1000 defense, 128 speed. And honestly, that's all we really care about. Our energy regeneration is good. And I think we have officially finished our Robin. I'm super happy with her. And now it's time to take her for a little spin. We're gonna do stage 11, second half, because this is where Robin's really gonna shine because Bronya does have a physical weakness and I have a couple characters I want to use for her. 
So some characters that pair specifically really well with Robin are characters with follow-up attacks who have a lot of turns. Character like Clara, another one, Adventurine. These two in particular are two of Robin's best support characters. The third one being to her left. And I think this will be our team for the MOC. For everyone who's going to make a comment telling me that I'm not using a DPS, you're damn straight. You know why? It's because DPSs are for cowards. Robin doesn't need a DPS. Let's go. Everything is dying today, straight up. Actually, I don't have Robin's ultimate up yet, but once we do, then things are going to start dying. There we go. Almost got it. Little attack. Scream at the enemy. Boom. And now we should straight up just have our ultimate. And now we start killing things. Now is the time that we start murdering. All of our follow-up characters now do more damage. All their actions advance. Oh, this is going to be crazy. 74k. 92k. Let's go. Let's go, Aventurine. You can actually do damage. Everybody said your damage was bad. Not anymore. Clara, you too. Boom. We're on turn 27. I'm feeling good. Oh, I'm feeling good. And we just finished first phase. Now we can start murdering stuff. She just did 100k. Holy crap, Clara. Do it again. Damn. All right. Our burst is almost up, but that's okay. We are able to get a lot of damage off with a single Robin ultimate and a couple of good supports. Let's just do it again. Straight up. Do we just have it? Oh, we're so close. Okay, there we go. We got it. Huge. That was like not even like two singular actions before we got Robin's ultimate again. And I mean, and I mean, just look at all our characters attack. Pope has 4,000 attack. Flora, nearly 5k. Eventually, nah, he didn't get that much. And because of that E1, we now have all type res pen. Let's just murder the living hell out of Bronya. Already broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so dead, huh? Oh, she's so dead. Goodbye, Bronya. Aventurine, get us the kill. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the power of Robin. I'm super happy with today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all get just as lucky as I did. And for the end of the video, we'll resonate a little bit of luck again and get the E2 just for you guys because I'm feeling unlucky today. Damn. Ooh, new survival light cone. Let's go. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.